टुडे वो डिस्कस अबाउट एप्लीकेशन ऑफ फान बनाक थ्योरम फर्स्ट वी स्टार्ट फ्रॉम स्टेटमेंट ऑफ फान बनाक थ्योरम एंड आल्सो प्रूफ ऑफ फान बनाक थ्योरम वी आल्सो नोन इन प्रीवियस क्लास दिस फान बनाक थ्योरम इज x be a real linear space and p x to r be a sub linear and let a be a linear functional defined on a subspace y of x such that f x less than equal to p x then there exists a linear functional f delta on x satisfying the following f delta x equal to f x for all x belongs to y and f delta x less than equal to p x for all x belongs to y that means we find here if x is linear space real linear space and p is be sub linear then obviously one function dominated by px for all any subspace of x this one have some extension which is also dominated by px and this one is done by han vanak theorem okay now we going to further application of han vanak theorem now we start from one application of han vanak theorem let y be a subspace let y be a subspace okay let y be a subspace of a non space x of a non space x over k over k and f y to r and f y to r be a continuous linear functional be a continuous linear functional define define p x to r y p x to r y p x equal to norm f norm x okay now p multiplied by norm x for all x belongs to x now we observe something about this p x okay which observation follows observe that observe that the first one cx must be equal to norm f norm x obviously this one get the equal to zero okay for all x belongs to x next second observation we write here phi of alpha x phi of alpha x equal to how how much we know about that here p of alpha x equal to norm of f norm of alpha x okay this implies that mod of f norm of f norm of x this equal to that norm of alpha p x okay hard for all x belongs to x and alpha belongs to x next next observation b p of x plus y equal to how much p of x plus y equal to norm of f norm of x plus y okay less than equal to norm f norm x plus norm y this equal to norm f norm x plus norm f norm y this equal to p x this equal to q then then p v sub linear because p of x plus y less than equal to p x plus q y okay then p v what sub linear next we going to next observation yeah which one we find we find that we write it number 4 px equal to 0 implies that px equal to 0 for x belongs to x 
implies that norm of f norm of x equal to zero okay then then what we find then we find x may not zero always may not zero always okay because if obviously zero is possible if norm f equal to zero then norm of mod x not equal to zero then obviously this norm of f norm of x equal to zero possible okay now now what we find we find hence phi v a semi norm on x where is our portion you know right here PVA PVA semi norm on X okay next also PV sublinear also PV sublinear okay next what we find next we find we also some have observation we write it note that note that p norm of fx less than mod of fx less than equal to norm of f norm of x okay equal to px okay for all x belongs to y then then all assumption of Han Banach theorem are satisfied. Okay, here we we'll see about that. If in mod of f x less than equal to p x, and obviously we we'll tell about we we'll prove about that p v seminar or p v sublinear. Okay, then what we we'll find we we'll just show our portion also, and we we'll find that. All this possible condition of Han Banach theorem is satisfied for this problem. Okay, all the assumption of Han Banach theorem, all the assumption of Han Banach theorem satisfying satisfying for all the assumption of Han Banach theorem satisfying okay for this problem then then what do we find then there exists a linear functional f delta then there exists a linear functional f delta f delta on x such that on x such that such that f delta x equal to fx and f delta x is dominated by px okay for all x belongs to x they are not y for all x belongs to x then what we find we write it better way this way okay then what we find we find this f delta equal to fx for all x belongs to y here and this f delta x dominated by px for all x belongs to x okay by Han Banach theorem next we prove boundedness of f delta okay let's check about that boundedness of f delta then what we find we find that obviously here given f delta x mod of f delta x less than equal to p x for all x belongs to x okay again p x equal to p x equal to oh, we know about that norm of f norm of x then then what we find we find that this f 
filter norm of this, norm of x, less than equal to norm of if, norm of x, this implies norm of if filter less than equal to norm of x. Okay. So, we find that what we get hence if delta be bounded with norm of f delta less than equal to norm of okay this one is first we write we denote it number one next to it is our portion and going to further discussion about that problem So what we find, we find that norm of if delta equal to supremum of if delta x, x belongs to x, x not equal to 0. Sorry here, mod x greater than 1 is huge. Okay. Sorry, mod x equal to 1 is huge. Okay. Then this one is greater. Then this one that means divided by mod x is not needed here because this one is one. Okay. So so this one obviously greater than equal to supremum of x belongs to x mod x equal to one mod of f delta x. Oh sorry, here x equal to y x belongs to y mod of f delta x okay this equal to supremum of x belongs to y norm of x equal to 1 mod of f x because we know about that f delta x x belongs to y then this one equal to f x okay then what we find this one equal to norm of this implies that norm of a filter greater than equal to norm of x. This one we mark as 2. Hence from 1 and 2 we get. Hence from 1 and 2 we get norm of a filter equal to norm of x. Then there exists a continuous linear function on x. Then there exists a continuous linear function on x such that such that if delta x equal to f x for all x belongs to y and and norm of if delta equal to norm of f. So we we'll do this problem. Okay. Too easily we we'll go first to start about this problem and then handle step by step. We first saw about that px is non-negative. Second, we saw about that p of alpha x equal to norm of alpha px that means p is positive homogeneous second we saw about that p is subadditive p x of x plus y less than equal to p x plus p y and fourth we saw that p v semi norm that means p x equal to zero does not imply that x equal to zero then lastly we saw about that p v sublinear and obviously p v semi norm and obviously this fx less than equal to norm of f norm of x then this one obviously satisfies here we are taking one problem here with both sides it, if we write this one is better if both side taking supremum or both side taking norm then this one is possible okay because here norm is also exist and they are taking both side norm then this one is hold next we're going to this one 
then uh, all this assumption of harmonic theorem satisfies by this function then we're going to further conclusion of harmonic theorem that means what we get from harmonic theorem we apply this harmonic theorem then we get one extension function linear functional okay then this satisfied all this condition and dominated by px also and then we find norm of this extensional function null equal to norm of a okay now we'll stop here and going to further problem which is also one important problem of Han banach theorem we applied here also we're going to study about that problem okay now we write this problem matrix star let y be let y be a proper closed subset subspace of a norm space x of a norm space x and x0 belongs to x with t equal to distance of x0 comma y okay then this one is we write better way d equal to infimum of mod of x minus x0 where x belongs to y okay this one obviously greater than zero then what do we find that means what we have to do here then there exists a belongs to b x a this one also functional such that bounded to linear functional such that first one if x equal to zero and f of x zero equal to d for all x belongs to x and number two norm of a equal to one then what we do we're going to we're going to further discussion about that Proof of this or also going discussion of this then what we do late first start in this way let y0 equal to x plus alpha x0 such that x belongs to y and alpha belongs to k then then what do we find we see about that y0 be a subspace of x Define a y zero to k y if u equal to f of x plus alpha x zero. for all x belongs to y and alpha belongs to k we now show that if p continuous linear functional on y0 we now show that if p continuous linear functional
Paul Wise. Okay. Now we're going to prove of this linearity of if. Let u equal to u equal to x plus alpha x zero and v equal to y plus beta x zero. X y belongs to y and alpha beta belongs to k. Oof. Then what we do? Then we proceed further for areas of our portion. Now a of u plus v equals to f of x plus alpha x zero plus y plus beta x zero. This equal to f of x plus y alpha plus beta x zero equal to alpha plus beta d. Okay. Then, then what we find, we find that this one equal to alpha d plus beta d, this one equal to f of u, here f of k, okay, because this one equal to f of x alpha x0, this one equal to f of y beta x0, then this one, then a b additive, okay. Next, we're going to further proceed right here if additive. Now, going to second portion of that mu belongs to R, mu not equal to 0, or mu greater than 0. Then, what do you find? If of mu is equal to, we just know our portion also. f of mu x plus mu alpha x then mu alpha d0 or mu alpha d sorry then this one equal to mu multiplied by alpha d this one equal to mu multiplied by f okay hence this one is homogeneous Predict then a b homogeneous. Then a b linear. Okay. Next, next we see about that f of x zero equal to f of zero plus one x zero equal to d. Just one. So greater than zero. And obviously, f of x equal to f of x plus 0 x 0 equal to 0. Okay? For all x belongs to 1. So, we prove all this part. Then, then what we get? We get thus f is a non-zero linear functional. Thus, a, b, a, non-zero linear functional non zero linear functional on y zero okay or on y they are given y zero or y y zero okay because you have defined y from y zero to this so this one is okay y zero is bit 
next then here we write y0 this one is beta next next we going to this portion boundedness of if okay if we bound, we see about that boundedness of if then this one is complete i think so we is all portions now we going to boundedness of if boundedness of a now norm of a q equal to norm of a v equal to a of x plus alpha x equal to norm of alpha d for all x belongs to y and alpha belongs to we have the following cases we have the following cases okay first case alpha if alpha equal to case one if alpha equal to zero if alpha equal to zero in this case in this case a pop u equal to a pop x okay equal to zero equal to zero norm of u less than equal to norm of u Similarly, for case 2, if alpha not equal to 0, if alpha not equal to 0, then what we find? Let x belongs to y, let x belongs to y, and x by alpha, this implies x by alpha belongs to y. Now, norm of if u equal to norm of if x plus alpha is 0 okay equal to mod of alpha d equal to mod of alpha infimum of norm of x difference x 0 x belongs to y okay equal to mod of alpha multiplied by infimum of minus x by alpha belongs to y here x by alpha minus x okay equal to equal to less than equal to norm of x plus alpha x okay then this one equal to norm of here alpha not equal to zero then this one is done if you less than equal to norm of u here also alpha equal to zero then this one also possible then what we find we find that thus norm of if you less than equal to norm of u okay for all u belongs to y0 hence f is bounded hence f be bounded with norm of a less than equal to y okay now now we are going to further discussion about that so it is this portions
by definition of norm of a by definition of norm of a okay norm of if you equal to less than equal to norm of if norm of This implies that norm of alpha d less than equal to norm of a multiplied by x alpha x. Are you equal to this one? Okay. Now taking alpha equal to minus one, then this implies that d less than equal to norm of if norm of x different things okay now this one equal to norm of if now we're taking infimum x take infimum okay this one equal to norm of if d this implies that one less than equal to norm of a. Okay. Hence, what we get? Hence, we get. Hence, we get norm of a equal to one. Okay. Now we're going to further discussion that. Now we use Han Vana theorem. Okay. That means if satisfies all this condition of Han Banach theorem, we now use Han Banach theorem here. Okay. Then by Han Banach theorem, we get what we get. There exists and A belongs to B X D such that this condition hold. First condition is that F X belongs to A B X for all X belongs to X, not Y zero. Oh, sorry, sorry, not here. F X equal to F X for Y zero. Number two, norm of F X dominated by norm of fx not dominated by here they are equal to one okay because we know about that dominated by one or they are equal to one norm of not fx norm of f equal to one okay then then what we found we found y be a proper closed subspace of a non space x such that these conditions are called okay then what we find we erase all portions then we find that y be a proper closed subset or y zero be a Proper closed subspace of a norm space X of a norm space X. Okay, and and let X zero belongs to X difference by zero with dom d equal to infimum of x different norm of x difference x zero x belongs to x greater than zero then there exists a belongs to b x k okay such that such that first one f x equal to 0 for all x belongs to y 0 and if t f of x 0 equal to b okay and number 2 
number to norm of a equal to one we also get this one so today we discuss two application problem of Hanuana theorem so today we stop here